Welcome to video number two, where we're taking a look at the Emeril Lagazzi French Door Air Fryer 360. In this video, we're going to grill and we're going to cook some pizza. So let's get right to grilling. Are you ready to grill some hamburgers? Yes, I did say grill some burgers in our air fryer. They have this cool grill tray or grill pan. So you can see these raised uh, lines here. That's really going to make our grill marks. What I like about it is when you're cooking hamburgers or steak, the grease can come off and be underneath it. So you can just dump that out. Plus they have this really convenient, easy pour on two ends. What I'm going to do now is we're going to preheat this because in order to grill, we have to preheat. So this. if we find our number for grill, we see it's the very bottom. Okay. So that's right above the elements right here. Now this is off of course, otherwise I wouldn't have touched that. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip this in on the very bottom. So now we are in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this thing up. So let's go and select grill. So what I'm going to do now, this says 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Let's hit start. It's now preheating. So when this is preheating, I'm going to prepare my burgers. It took 10 minutes to preheat this air fry oven to grill. Let's throw our burgers on. All I did was put Montreal steak seasoning on top. Let's see if we get a sizzle. I hear the sizzle. We're just about four minutes in and look at the sizzle on those burgers. I'll probably flip them over in about another minute or two to see what they look like on the other side. I think that this air fryer is cool and all, but it really makes me nervous that this steam or smoke just comes pouring out here out of either side of the door. I'm not sure that should actually be a thing. It just beeped at me, letting me know it's about halfway through. So let's open that up. We're going to pull these out and then flip them. I'm only going to bring them out a little bit just so I can uh, get the spatula underneath. There we go. They smell good. Let's see if there are grill lines underneath. Uh, they're okay grill lines, not the best I've seen. I'm trying not to make a mess on top of the uh, heating element. I'm gonna push it back in there a little more. What I don't like about it is it seems to be just slopping everything all over the place. Well, there you have our burgers flipped over. They're more like grill indentations versus grill marks. We'll continue cooking to see if we reach our 160 degree Fahrenheit internal temperature. Time to check the temperature using our Taylor thermometer. I picked this thing up at Walmart for like 10 bucks and I use it every time I cook to make sure I get the correct internal temperature. So the air fryer just beeped saying it's done, but let me get a temperature of the inside of this burger. I wanna make sure it's at least at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've just now hit 170 on that one. Let's check the back one. Yep, so it looks like these are definitely done. Here are the burgers, fresh off the grill. These two right here, you can see they have the grill lines, and actually these two have grill lines, but they're on the other side. I wanted to show you each side of the burger, so I guess this part had spent more time on the grill, thus getting the grill lines. They're all cooked. They almost look like they're wet burgers and not like what you'd expect off of a grill. They smell good. I'm gonna throw some cheese on there, and then hopefully these things taste as good as they smell. I tell you one thing, there sure is a lot of nastiness to clean off of this grill. I'm really grateful that it had these at least half inch tall border all the way around it. So it kept all that grease and other such things in the pan. So now all I gotta do is take the pan out and go clean it. There is some splash over on the sides from when I flipped the burgers, but not too bad of a cleanup. So what are your thoughts of the grilling feature? Is that something that you would use? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Are you ready for some pizza? Let's try it in our French Doors Air Fryer 360. You might have noticed that I covered the bottom of our Air Fryer 360 with Reynolds Wrap or aluminum foil, and that was done really for any cheese dripping just to make for an easy cleanup. All right, so let's scroll over to where we can see pizza, and you see how it's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit? That's the temperature we want, but the time we want should be up to, well, between 22 and 24 minutes. We're gonna set it at 24 and we'll check it along the way. Let's hit start. You notice that we are in a preheat right now. Once this thing beeps and tells me it is preheated, we're gonna slide our pizza in the air fryer. It took just about four minutes for this to preheat, so let's open it up. 
We're gonna slide our pizza down here at the level, I believe this is level six. We're gonna close it in there. We'll turn the light on. And you can see right down here, this is where it says pizza or proof for bread. So let's check on this here in about 10 minutes to see how we're doing. I will say that this pizza was a perfect fit on the rack of our French door air fryer 360. I should point out that during the pizza cook, you have the top and the bottom heating elements working. All right, here we are at the end. Let's see what this looks like. You know what? That looks like it definitely is crispy. Let's pull it out, cut it up and see how it looks. So the bottom looks well cooked. The top at first looked like it was underdone, but I do think it is crispy. I'm gonna cut this up and show you what it looks like. So this part here was to the back of the air fryer. So in my opinion, this cooked a whole lot more than it did in the front. So halfway through, you might wanna turn it just so it gets an even cooking. But let's take a piece of pizza and say, ooh, look at that ooey gooey cheese. It looks so good. Traditional pizza, not your thing. Let's try a cauliflower cauliflower power pizza to see how that cooks. This one tells us to heat for 425 degrees Fahrenheit and our temperature is 13 to 16 minutes. So let's bring it down to 16 and we'll watch it along the way. Let's let this preheat. We have officially preheated. Let's open this up, slide this in. Make sure it's centered on the rack there, just so we don't have any mess. I should say that this entire pizza is only 760 calories. We are about halfway through, so I'm gonna hit pause. And I wanted to add some more cheese to this because even though I like that this is only 380 calories for half the pizza, I'm gonna add some more cheese to it. Now let's push it back in, close the door, and start it up again. We're also just a little over halfway through, so I wanted to make sure I spin my pizza all the way around and try to get it to cook evenly. It looks like most of the cheese is getting crispy, so let's take this out of the oven. We're about three minutes earlier than schedule, but it looks pretty much done. Let's cut this up and see how it looks. Here's our pizza with a little extra cheese. We peek at the bottom, it's well cooked. Another delicious pizza. In this video, we took a look at two additional features for the French door Emeril Lagazzi Air Fryer 360. So what's the thing? Well, the first one we checked out was the grilling. I guess you could call it grilling, but for me, it's not something that I'm ever gonna use again. I thought the burgers were done, but they were really greasy, and I just didn't like all the goop and the cleanup afterwards. However, if you don't have a grill, this is an alternative. We then tested out the pizza function and well, that was an easy one, right? So it's just like an oven, heat it up. I thought it was convenient. I liked the portability of it and it cooked it pretty well. I will say during the cook, I did notice that it was cooking hotter in the back than the front. So just twisting it around halfway through will give you an even cook. Anyway, that was my review where we checked out the grilling and pizza function of the Emeril Agassi French Door Air Fryer 360. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. But before you go, I would love it if you would check out my other air fry reviews, the original 360, I'm gonna link right up here. And then also I'm gonna link you a playlist to my caloric air fry. And I would love it if you would click on one of those two. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you here or here. So go ahead, click one, they're safe, I promise.